Good morning everybody, my name is Tori and today we are going to be dyeing yet another wig. So this wig was sent to me by Donna Love Hair. I have used their synthetic wigs in the past, but this time I, they actually sent me a real human hair wig. So that is what we're going to be doing today. Before I actually go and dye the hair, I'm just going to give you guys a little bit of details about the actual wig. So this is what it looks like. It is a lace front wig. I already went ahead and cut off the lace at the very front of it, so you wouldn't have to watch me do that. It's really easy. You just take some scissors and you kind of cut along the hairline. I will also be inserting all of the hair stats here, so yeah. This wig is about 18 inches. It is not, this is their, their straight wig. This is their heavy density hair, so it's pretty thick. Their lace color is light brown because I thought it would kind of go the best with my skin tone, and also I thought it would help kind of cover up the dark purple that I do have. The cap size is absolutely and it actually print and it actually fits me really well. This is what so I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what the wig looks like on. Yeah, so this is what the wig looks like on. Since it is lace front, you can go ahead and give it any form of part that you really want. For the style that I'm going with, it's going to be more of a like side bang bit. So it's probably gonna end up being more like this. So the first step, I'm actually going to go ahead and kind of tone it a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and kind of wash it with some purple shampoo. So in order to wash it with purple shampoo, all you do is you take a tub of really hot water. The hot water actually helps open up the hair cuticles so then the purple shampoo can work its magic in there. For this, I'm going to be using just the generic brand. I like it. It kind of works just like the shimmer lights, but it's overall cheaper. So you just add some to the water and then you mix it around. Just be careful because this is really hot. And then you take your wig you slowly just add it to the water. You can also do this with hair dye and I would recommend doing it with hair dye if you don't have a lot of hair dye left because it takes like a lot less hair dye to do this. But you do have to make sure that you put enough in there so then your hair actually turns a color. And then I'm going to go ahead and leave this in the bowl for about five minutes just to make sure that it really tones the hair. But as you can see, it's already kind of doing it. So I'm gonna put my little cap back on it so I don't knock it over an accident. And I will see you once this hair dries. So peace. Hope you guys are ready to see the wig. If you could 
see my romper I'm wearing. You kind of guess who inspired my wig today. Yeah. Yeah, so I decided to just dye it all red. I originally was going to do red to white tips. However, as I started dyeing it red, I started really missing my long aerial hair. So I just decided just to dye the entire thing aerial red, and I love it. It's so cute. I, I actually really missed my aerial hair. However, I just had way too many warm colors going on for way too long, so hence why I'm purple now. But I really love this outcome. It's very cute. This wig is very thick, so you do not have to worry about not having enough hair on your head if you do get it. But yeah, I think it turned out pretty cute. I did go ahead and straighten it very, so I did go ahead and straighten it just to kind of contain it because it is a lot of hair and letting it air dry, your hair tends to get a little bit fluffy anyways. I also did not cut it at all, so this is what it would look like if you just if you were just to dye it straight out of the box. I don't really think I plan on cutting this wig. I might cut the bangs a little bit so then I could style it more like aerial bangs. But for this, I am so happy with how it turned out. It's so cute. It's so cute. Look at it go. Oh. So thank you again to Donna Love Hair for sending me this wig. It's so cute. I really love it. I love how it turned out. And I can't wait to actually wear it out on photo shoots. I already do have a long red wig. However, I just feel like it looked a little bit not very convincing, if that makes sense. Just because I've had it for so long, it started to kind of just get gross. And I did take it like into the ocean at one point, so it's just a little iffy. And I do think this looks a lot more realistic than the other wig that I do have because it is synthetic. Also, I forgot to tell you guys what color I use for it. This is Poison by Arctic Fox. The last time I dyed my hair red, I actually used Wrath, but I think I like Poison a little bit better. It's definitely a bright fire truck red color and I love it. So I hope you guys liked this video and liked watching how I dyed my wig. Also comment down below some other hair colors you want to see me dye some wigs because I'm loving dyeing wigs. Dyeing wigs is so much fun. It's a lot of work, but it's so much fun. Don't forget to check out Donna Love. I will leave all of the information about this wig in the description below as, as well as a link to their website. They also do sell a ton of synthetic wigs so if you're not looking for a human hair wig they do have some synthetic wigs that I think you'll like so definitely click the link in the description below to go check them out. I feel like a mermaid. This is so nice. I can't wait to take some cute like aerial cosplay photos in this now. If you want to see another wig dyeing video, click over here. It'll take you right to it. Also, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring that little bell to get notified every single time I post a video, which is normally Thursdays and Saturdays. And I'll see y'all later. Bye!